Tabitha's Way donation bins in Springville, and it ends with one officer in the hospital and a man behind bars. But the part in between is what could have saved both of their lives. There's not many things in life that scare me. Um, needles, cameras, you know, that type of stuff. So when Derek Meyer was driving by on Main Street in Springville and saw a man punching an officer, he was not afraid to make a U-turn and stop to help. Had he not been in the right place at the right time, um, who knows what would have happened. Just before 2 p.m., an officer saw this man, Paul Douglas Anderson, in the Tabitha's Way donation bin, feet hanging out clothes on the ground, the officer told Anderson to get out, and he did, but then he attacked the officer. As officers, we, we try and maintain the mentality that this is something that could happen, you know, any day of the week. He looked like he was in some serious pain. Meyer explains how it felt getting out of his car to help. It was like time actually slowed down or even stopped. As Meyer approached, he drew his concealed carry pistol. I've always said that I would much rather get in a fist fight uh, with my gun securely holstered to my side than ever have to pull my gun, uh, especially ever have to use my gun. He aimed it at Anderson. I was yelling, you know, get off, stop, but within two seconds you can only yell so much. Just as Meyer says he had a clean shot, Anderson stopped punching the officer and ran off. Corporal Corey Waters with Springville Police says it made all the difference. He definitely stopped the attack um, from continuing and, and becoming much worse. He, he might have even saved either one of their lives. You know, it could have it could have gone really bad even for the suspect. After forcing a lockdown at a nearby elementary school, officers found Anderson hiding under a flatbed trailer. I did what I did because of who I am, not to get any extra attention or to have people talk about me or anything I did. Meyer says he's just glad that he could help and that his concealed carry weapon and training came in handy. That officer did suffer a fractured eye socket and serious cuts, but he will be okay. Live in studio, Lauren Hanley, Fox 13 News, Utah. Utah Department of Health has confirmed.